Hi friends, I will mention about an alternative coordinate system in this video. Coordinate system is a wonderful invention for math by Descartes. Thanks to this system, we represent the plane and address the points on the plane. According to Cartesian coordinates, which is our written coordinate system, we have two perpendicular fictional lines. We can see uh, these lines on GeoGebra. The horizontal line uh, is called abscissa and the vertical line is called ordinate. And when you create a point on GeoGebra, you can see how uh, this system uh, work. The point is represented by two components. The first component is the uh, abscissa component. We can see better by clicking, by creating a vertical lines to the coordinate lines. And the second component of the uh, ordered pair is represents uh, representing the uh, vertical uh, component this is ordinate and by this way we can easily say where the point is in the plane we have two component one is called x abscissa and the second is called y ordinate and if you have an equation between x and y you can uh, obtain a picture actually uh, it is a curve on the plane for example y is equal to x square creates this kind of picture and y square plus x square is equal to 2 creates this kind of picture etc this way is not the unique way of addressing a point on the plane when you create a point on the software your uh, code your system is automatically cartesian but you have an we we have an alternative uh, system uh, to represent the address of the point on plane polar coordinates what does it mean when i uh, set the uh, coordinate of the point as polar you can see again an ordered pair but uh, the components are uh, written with a semicolon instead of a column and we have a, a angle as second component and we have a, a numerical value as the first component let's let me explain what is the meaning of these components these components can be explained by creating a line between the point and the origin and let's measure let's measure the uh, distance the point from the origin and you can see that the numerical value is the distance of the point to the origin and let me again measure the angle which is a positive directed angle and you can see that you can see that you can see that 
the angle is the second component so we have a new way to represent the address of a point on the plane instead of x component saying x point component and y component uh, as a cartesian system if you can say the distance of the point to the origin and the positive uh, angle which is the uh, line connecting the po point to the origin and uh, x uh, axis x uh, line x coordinate you can uh, see you can represent the point on the plane by this way and what about polar curves again we have again two components which is a numerical value and the first one is a numerical value and the second one is a uh, is an angle if you uh, create a equation between this numerical value and this angle you can obtain a curve and we call these curves this kind of curves polar curve let me create a little polar curve now for this uh, I need a independent uh, I need an independent variable to represent the angle I will represent the angle by T by T and I will edit edit the uh, polar coordinates of the point I will write the param parameter T instead of angle and the distance to the origin of the point is will be uh, changed by t by the function of t for example cosine of t and let me uh, make the point trace on then animate the parameter so I easily obtained a polar curve this is a circle why this uh, equation why this equation uh, produced a circle the answer is hidden on here as you know the Cartesian coordinates of a point is uh, just the distances uh, on the coordinate lines but uh, the polar coordinates of a point is this angle and uh, this distance so you can uh, make a make a relation between x and y and r and theta the uh, distance and the angle and if you can apply this uh, relation uh, to to this equation the angle is theta and uh, the distance is cosine of, cosine of theta you can obtain this circles equation and let's go on by a previously designed application by me polar curves I prepared this application uh, to use easily and fluently uh, you will just write the function uh, of angle 
here then start animation if you want you can pause animation r and theta and let's see how a curve can be obtained by this function by this polar function start animation one plus sine of theta is producing this kind of polar curve okay let's uh, try a different function cosine of 3, the, 3 theta I just used uh, the letter T instead of, instead of theta you can find uh, this application on my GeoGebra profile I will upload it and I will give the a link in my YouTube channel and there is an interesting uh, phenomena occurs here sometimes the point trace red traces and sometimes blue traces and I don't I didn't describe every phenomena here there is a plus sign here and there is a minus sign here and you can see how r and theta which is numerical value and the angle is are changing you can see here and please try to explain what is being what is going on here for yourself